Hello guys, welcome back to another video. As many of you may know, Fab was just released the other day. Fab is basically the new unified marketplace or the Unreal Engine marketplace replacement and is replacing Quixel Bridge. So essentially, if you want to download any sort of Quixel Megascans asset or really any asset from the Unreal Engine marketplace, you're going to have to do it through Fab. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can do so through the new Fab Unreal Engine plugin. Basically, the Fab Unreal Engine plugin allows you to download 3D assets and asset packs directly directly from Fab and import it directly into your project as well as things like Quixel Megascans assets. So they are completely discontinuing Quixel Bridge. So in order to get Quixel assets, you will have to go through Fab. So I'll show you guys how to do that in this video and I'll show you everything that you need to know about Fab, how you can browse different assets, filter different assets, as well as how to get free assets from Fab. So let's not waste any time and get right into the video. So first of all, to get started with the Fab plugin, what you may notice already if you open up the Epic games launcher is that we have a new tab for fab over here so there's no more unreal engine marketplace tab it is now replaced by fab so you can access fab through two different methods you can either go to the website by click on the start exploring which it will just pop open to fab.com or of course you can download the fab unreal engine plugin which i'll show you how to do right now so to download the fab unreal engine plugin what you need to do is head over to your library tab so click on the library and you want to scroll all the way down till you go to your vault assets right over here so basically down here this is where you have all the content that you've downloaded from the unreal engine marketplace that you've either purchased or you claim for free then you want to search for the fab Fab UE plugin. So type in Fab UE plugin and you're going to see this Fab UE plugin right here. So this is the plugin that we'll need to install. So you just click on install to engine and basically it will pop open with the different Unreal Engine versions that you can install it to. So right now, currently they only have Unreal Engine 5.3, 5.4 and 5.5. So hopefully they add support for the other versions of the engine like 5.0 through 5.2 because currently the Fab plugin is really the only way of getting Quixel Megascans assets into your project. So I'm going to install it for 5.4. So we'll select it and we'll click the install install button then it will go ahead and download and install the plugin it's only about 36 megabytes so really quickly and then once it's installed you can go ahead and launch any unreal engine project of your choice okay so now that we're in our project here basically to access the fab plugin all you have to do is head over to window and then all the way down to get content you're going to see that we have the fab plugin right here so click on that and that's going to open up Fab. So if you never messed around with Fab, basically it's the new Unreal Engine Marketplace replacement as well as Quixel Bridge replacement. So first of all, let's go ahead and talk about the user interface. So the first thing that you'll need to do is if you haven't already, you want to log in with your Epic Games account. So you want to head over to the top right over here. You'll head over to the profile icon. Once you click on it, what it will actually do is it'll pop open a window to log in to your Epic Games account right here. And it'll say, please sign in to Fab from the browser. Sign in process will take a few seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in real quick. And so you just sign in and click confirm on the other tab. And now you can see that we're signed in. So we have that green icon. And so now we can actually browse the assets. So what you'll notice first is we have featured Unreal Engine projects. And the thing that you need to note is that Fab not only does it have Unreal Engine Marketplace assets, but it also has other different models from websites like Sketchfab. So you need to note that everything in here are things that you can download and add, but some of the content in here is not very high quality. So for example, some of the assets from Sketchfab can be user-created models of really any quality. So you just want to note that there's different ways to filter the content on here. So let's actually talk about the filtering process. So first of all, to actually filter by Unreal Engine assets, you want to come down under the included formats. And over here, since we're actually in Unreal Engine, we have this checkbox native Unreal Engine formats. So it's automatically filtering all the assets to support Unreal Engine. Now you can also expand this and filter by supported engine versions. So if you want to check and see if the product supports the current version of the engine that you're using. You can filter it by that. You can filter by supported target platforms. You can also filter by price. So if you want to filter by free assets, we can click on the checkbox and look at all free assets over here. Now, one of the important filters down here is that you can now filter by generative AI. So we can filter by hiding products created with AI. So basically we can hide any product that has been created with AI. So in the Unreal Engine marketplace, there was a ton of AI created content, whether that was, you know, icons or things like that. But as you can see, those are basically all the main filters that you can play around with. Then 
The next thing that you need to know is how to actually access your library. So basically all of your assets that you've either bought from the Unreligion Marketplace or have gotten free from the month are in your library in FAB. So if you click on the three lines button over here, you can actually filter by 2D assets, 3D models, animations, audio, decals, environments. You have all the same sort of filtering that you had on the Unreligion Marketplace, but also down here you have the My Library button. So if you click on the My Library, it's going to show you all of the assets and asset packs that you have or that you own from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So as you can see, I have a couple of Quixel assets in here, and I'll actually show you guys how to get Quixel assets here in a second. But as you can see, I have a bunch of different asset packs. So let's actually show you how to add an asset pack. Let's say we want to add this animal variety pack. So it just has a couple of different animal models. We can add this to our project by clicking on the add to project. And what that will go ahead and do is download it and add it to our project. So you can see this one isn't currently downloaded so it's downloading we have the percentage down there and so we'll give that a second to download and while that is downloading i'm going to show you guys a couple of other things so in your library you can also filter inside of your library which is very nice because we can filter it by purchase date so if we purchase this the past 24 hours past 30 days you can filter by your assets you can also filter by things like 2d assets 3d models environments and much more. But now that that's finished downloading, we can head over to our third person map and you're going to see that it's created the new folder, the animal variety pack, and we have different animal meshes that we can just drag in. And it's pretty much that simple. It's very similar to the Epic Games Launcher and the Unreal Marketplace. And in fact, you can still add assets through the Epic Games Launcher if you want. Fab is just an easier way to do so. Now to access and add Quixel Mega Scans, you'll have to do so through Fab. You can also do it through the Epic Games Launcher, but again, that is very clunky. So you'll have to do it through Fab and I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So in order to go to the Quixel Mega Scans, you'll actually need to go all the way back out and go to Discover. So click on the Discover, and you're going to want to search for Quixel Mega Scans. And I really wish there was a better way, like I wish there was a Quixel button over here that I could click on, but just search for Quixel Mega Scans and then click on any of these Mega Scans right here. You should see the Quixel logo here at the top. So once you click on an asset, you can actually go to Quixel. So you can see the profile icon is Quixel, so click on that. And that will actually take you to the Quixel page so it says from Quixel so these are all the Quixel mega scans assets and in here we can actually search for Quixel assets because we have the Quixel filter so we have from Quixel filter and then now we can search any Quixel assets so let's say we want to search for beach rock so now we're filtering Quixel assets by beach rocks and what we can actually do is if we take this window and put it side by side we can actually take any of these Quixel Mega scans assets and we should be able to just drag and drop it into our level right here and it will just work exactly like we had the Quixel bridge plugin so it works essentially the exact same so you can drag in any of these assets and as you can see it has the fab logo it will go ahead and download it uh, it'll work the exact same and here's our asset right here this tiny rock so we can scale that up but as you can see we can just drag in really any rock We'll start downloading it and we'll add the asset into our scene. Now those are the Quixel Mega Scans assets. Currently, what you need to know about these is that they are currently free till the end of the year. So basically what that means is you guys need to actually go ahead and claim the Quixel Mega Scans assets before the end of the year. Otherwise, you're going to have to buy each individual asset for a dollar next year. If you haven't claimed these assets this year, because next year they're going to be paid. So I've actually made a separate video showing you exactly how to do that. But another thing that you need to note is that even if you claim these assets, they're actually not going to appear in your library. So what that means is if you head over to your library over here, you're not going to see the Quixel assets inside of here. So you can see I've added a couple of assets to my library. So you can see these are owned. But if we head back to Quixel assets by searching for Quixel from Quixel, and clicking back to the Quixel profile. To actually add these assets to your library, let's say I want to add a beach rock. We need to actually click on the beach rock that we want to add. So this Thai beach rock, and you can see that I own this item because I've claimed all the mega scans for free. So it says mega scans claimed. So to actually claim it, you have to claim all the mega scans, but to add it to your library, you have to manually click on this add to library. So now the product has been added to your library, so I can click view in library, and it will actually take a second for it to add it to your library. So don't expect it to be automatic. It's 
taking a lot of time for it to actually add to your library. So let's actually refilter this, go back to my library, and you can see it's still not added. So it took actually quite a bit of time for me to add these assets to my library from when I clicked the button. And maybe you actually have to restart fab or reopen the fab window to see it update. And yeah, as you can see, I just closed the fab window and reopened it. And you can see that it's now in my library. And you can see that I now actually have it in my library. So again, all of the Quixel assets, even though you've claimed them, they're not going to appear in your library because you have to add each individual asset to your library. Now, they've actually mentioned this in an email. They've sent out this email to everyone. Basically, you can access them from the Quixel profile on Fab for the Megascans, but they will not be added automatically to my library at this time. You may add them to my library individually by clicking the Add to Library button on the listing page, and they're currently working on a solution to add all of your claimed Megascans assets to my library. So you need to know that adding these to your library, you don't have to add each one to your library manually. You can do that, but they are working on a solution to add them all to your library if you've claimed them for free. So basically, that is everything that you need to know about FAB. You can search assets up here, and there's loads of different types of assets that you can filter from, and even assets that weren't from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So for example, these things, I believe, are from Sketchfab. So you can see we have this B2 battle droid from Star Wars. So there's quite a bit of stuff on here, and stuff like this isn't the highest quality. So as you can see, this isn't like a high detailed mesh or high textured. So you just need to note that some of the assets in here aren't going to be the best quality. And in order to filter by Unreal Engine assets, you want to go to the Discover right over here, and this will actually bring you to all of the Unreal Engine Marketplace assets that you've normally seen on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So yeah, that is pretty much everything that you need to know about FAB. Now, I do have a couple of concerns about FAB itself because there are some asset packs that are actually not on FAB that were on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So for example, down here in my library, I have these military character, military character silver, military weapons dark. So these asset packs were not migrated over to FAB either because a seller probably did not do that, did not take the action to do so. And it wasn't automatically migrated over so if I actually click on these asset packs it's not going to load them it's going to basically pop open a window saying sorry we could not find that page because it's not on fab and it doesn't exist on fab so really the only way to add this is I can add this from my library but for anyone else who wants to get this free asset it is now no longer available to them which is a huge shame because I use these assets a lot in my tutorials and so either I'm gonna have to find a workaround I'm gonna have to upload this asset into a zip file and have people to download it that way but it's just a shame because now there are some asset packs that were permanently free on the Unreal Engine Marketplace but are now no longer available on FAB because they weren't automatically migrated over and again I use these assets in literally all my tutorials so it's a complete shame because a lot of my videos will have to be redone or updated because you can no longer download these assets directly from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So yeah, that is everything it for this video. I just wanted to talk about Fab, show you guys how to use the new Fab Unreal Engine plugin, how you can download Quixel Megascans assets from Fab, and also voice some of the different concerns that I had about Fab itself. Let me know what you guys think about Fab down in the comments down below. I'm very curious to hear you guys' feedback on the plugin itself. They're going to be discontinuing Quixel Bridge, so Fab is the the new Quixel Bridge and Unreal Engine Marketplace. So if you want to get any Quixel asset, you have to do it through Fab itself. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more future content. I'll be making a video reviewing a couple of free asset packs that we get from Fab in my next video. So you guys don't want to miss out on that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.